Ego Freak YouTube channel. This is the second video of the parasitology video series that explains the morphology, life cycle, disease symptoms, and treatment and control methods of the protozoan and helmin parasites. To connect with more videos, please subscribe to my channel. Balantidium coli. Here, in their life cycle, there are two morphological stages stage trophozoid stage and the cyst stage in the trophozoid stage they are oval in shape and having a pointed anterior end this is anterior end and that is pointed and having a macronucleus that is kidney shape in this diagram you can see that that is kidney shaped macronucleus in the uh, trophozoid and having a micronucleus that is a round shape. This is the micronucleus. And having a funnel shaped cytostome. Cytostome means cell mouth. This is the cytostome and it is in the anterior end. The trophozoid stage is non infective. Trophozoid stage can cause the symptoms in the host. This trophozoite can do the reproduction by binary fission and conjugation. And this is a spherical shape or the oval shape. And the surface is covered with thick cilia, cilia and having a cyst wall as well as covered with the cilia. That's why we are telling that as ciliated uh, protozoa. So the cyst stage is the infective stage. And cysts are non-reproductive. Trophozoites can do the reproduction by binary fission or the conjugation, but the cyst can't do the reproduction. And they're having only the kidney-shaped macronucleus. They don't have any micronucleus. This is the morphology of the trophozoite and the cyst of the balantidium coli. So this balantidium coli is a very special type of ciliate because that is the only ciliate which can infect the human and cause the disease known as balantidiasis. Balantidiasis. And they are commonly found in the intestinal tract of the host. This is the habitat. So they are endoparasites because we can find these balantidium coli in the intestinal tract of the host. So they are endoparasites. Normally, the host are the swine, are the primary host, as well as pig, human, as well as non human primates also can serve as the host. And the trophozoite attached to mucosal epithelium lining in the intestine. So they are attached to the mucosal epithelium of the intestine of the host. And how it can infect the human or other host? by food or water contaminated with feces containing the cyst. If we eat the food that contaminated with the cyst of the balantidium coli, then we can get the disease. The balantidium coli life cycle, is how it can infect the human thing, this is the host human. This is direct life cycle only involving one host. Human is the host. If an infected human pass his uh, feces outside the body, then we can see the trophozoites as well as the cysts in that feces. So, this, if these feces that contain in the cyst of this uh, balantidium coli, if that contaminated the food, and if we eat that food which contain in the cyst stage, then we can get the disease. So, this is the infective stage. Normally, the trophozoite after they exposed to the outer environment, they can't survive. Within short period of time, they are going to destroy. So they can't infect the human. Only cyst stage can infect the human. If we ingest these cyst stage, then we can get the disease. How the cyst going to existation in the small intestine. They can exist in the small intestine and can produce the trophozoid stage in the small intestine. So this trophozoid 
can pass to the large intestine area. So here they can multiply by the binary fish and they can pass that cyst and the trophozoite with their feces. So this trophozoite can invade the mucosal layer of this uh, large intestine area and they can cause the ulcerative pathology in this uh, large intestine area. So this is the life cycle of the Ballantarium coli. Very easy and direct life cycle. This is the life cycle. You can go through it. So the symptoms. If any uh, pathogen infect the uh, intestinal tract, then we can get the diarrhea and the abdominal pain as well as the weight loss because they are absorbing the nutrition from us. So we are getting weight loss as well as the dysentery. So the diagnostic stage is the cyst as well as the trophozoid and diagnosis is can do by the fecal immunoassay and the treatment is we can use the tetracycline, metronidazole and the idoquinone. These are the treatments. For the control, we have to practice good hygienic methods, sanitation, avoid of fecal contamination of food. Thank you.